everybody. Welcome back to Shorty on the Fly. Uh, today, I'm going to show you a caddis emerger pattern. Uh, it's a simple little fly to tie. It's based on a pattern that Rich Stralis came up with, which he calls a classified caddis. So I'm going to call mine the declassified caddis because I do it a little bit differently than, than Rich does. So let's go ahead and get started. For a hook, I'm using a size 12 uh, shrimp and caddis hook. Uh, scud hook will work. Uh, you want something with that little bit of curvature in there. And I'm using a size 12 today for demonstration purposes because it's a little easier to see. You probably want to drop down to a 14 or 16, perhaps even an 18. For thread today, I'm using UTC 70 in a color called Wood Duck. Um, any will do. Get your thread started there on the usual fashion. Uh, but you need to have that floss like situation so that. Um, we can split the thread in order to accomplish this. So we're going to run the thread back to just behind where the barb of the hook is. And of course, you can always chop that barb off if you'd like. All right, now we're in pretty good shape here. I'm going to give this a counterclockwise spin from the top. And looking, looking down from the top, it would be counterclockwise to uh, flatten out and make, make it possible for me to split my thread. Now you can see there that it is flat and I'm gonna be able to do that pretty nicely. I'll get my fingernail on there and come in with my bodkin and split that thread. All right. And then I'm gonna come in and put just a little dubbing wax on one side of the thread. And I'm using light gray SLF prism dubbing here with a buyout stuck to it. <laughs> so we're gonna take little slips, just little wisps of it, and slide that up inside the split thread and up against the waxed piece of the thread, okay? And you can do this with any color you like. I'm using the, the gray because it's kind of neutral. It's relatively easy to see. Uh, if you wanna put this in a green or uh, you know, some other situation, you're certainly free to do so. Once I've got that, I've got about three inches worth there. I'm then going to come and spin my bo my bobbin clockwise. And you can kind of see how that's going to cord everything up. Um, and this is a great technique. It's not that hard. You just have to have the right, the, uh, you know, the right tools and, and materials to make it work. Okay. So that's getting pretty well spun up. I'm going to give it a, another spin because I want that stuff to be in there really tight. Okay. All right. Now, we're going to begin to wrap. And as I do, pull the fibers back as though you would like you were wrapping a soft hackle. Just keep pulling them toward the rear. You don't have to rush it. All right. And we're going to get up to about two eye lengths behind the eye and I'm pulling everything up and out of the way and now I'm going to come in here right at the back edge of the hook and trim that away and see we have that little almost like you would on a Goddard caddis that little wedge shaped body like we see on a caddis and that's all there is to it really uh, now we're going to put some wings on and for that, I'm using um, Sparkle Emerger yarn in brown. Let me see that. There we go. So I clipped a hank of that out, and I'm going to come in and wrap that around the thread. And then take it to the top of the hook. Take a couple of wraps to get that snugged in there good. Okay. And then we just want to come back over that to lock everything in so it's on either side of the hook All right and then we come in and trim that away here we go now we got a straggler there okay all right final thing is to put a little thorax on this and in this case i'm using uh, slf prism dumbing uh, in spiky squirrel i don't know if you can see that Okay, it's a squirrel dubbing. Okay, and this is a olive brown color. I'm just gonna slide that on there. Just a little to finish it off. 
Okay, we go ahead and wrap that around. I should probably trim. Oh, those look kind of cool that way, but I'm going to trim them out anyway. Okay. Come in and whip finish. And we're all finished. Now, this is my answer to the, the LaFontaine Sparkle Pupa, which can be a little hard to uh, execute with getting that bubble in. That's a little hard to, to get done sometimes. So this is a pattern that you fish in much the same way, okay? You can fish it on the surface or pop it, plop it right underneath uh, the surface and uh, get that emergent pupil looking thing going on. So there they are, doing whatever color sizes you want. Very versatile little pattern. Um, tie them up and get out there. I'll see you on the water. I bid you peace.